what you see here is a web page from the Open Group's website. They have a section called Architecture Governance. If you go through this and browse through this page, you will see that it explains what the different types of governance there are in an organization, namely corporate governance, technology governance, IT governance, and architecture governance. But what I'd like you you to focus on is this diagram right here where they talk about the key concepts in architecture governance frameworks and what's a framework it's really a scaffolding or a wireframe of an object you might be familiar with a sculpture for example before you can create a clay sculpture, let's say, of a dog, you need to build the shape of a dog using wires. And then that's the time when you have an idea of the shape that you can patch on the clay to form your sculpture. Similarly, with an architecture governance framework, you, what you have here are the different building blocks that guide you in defining your governance structure for your organization. In particular, TOGAF or the Open Group has identified the following building blocks. One is the context of your organization, whether these are your industry dynamics, your regulatory agencies, the political and macroeconomic environment, and so on. And even the way you organized your organization using the four different types of operating models that our textbook indicated. And then you can look at process related governance. Uh, an example that they've put here is the, the take on a retirement governance related to acquire, acquiring new um, technology, for example. And you can talk about assessment or selection of models and architectures and technologies and products. In some organization, they have a very stringent process for selecting vendors. And you can talk about content like service level agreements and operational level agreements, author authority structures and organizational standards. Plus, it talks about a repository of your policies and, and standards and governance uh, policies. Underneath that would be your process flow control. And <clears throat> I look at this more of the function of a governance body like a steering committee or an architecture review board. So when you look at this web page, zero in on this diagram and use this as a way to frame your thought about IT governance or enterprise architecture governance.